people, there's a process that, that helps you while you slow down. You slow down and then there are certain prayers, there are certain meditations, there are certain questions you want to ask yourself before you go ahead and take action. That way you, not, you know it's not coming from your lower nature. It's not coming from your over-intellectualizing. It's not coming from your feelings. It's coming from your will to, you know, the will to do something. Yo, Elliot. So, yo, Elliot, I've considered moving to another country so I can grow my business and make more connections. I'm wondering if this move is an ungrounded approach by my magician archetype. Uh, and I want to know whether or not I should be still with my inner king and allow myself to be moved or to hop on this instinct to move. And the way I would approach it is by saying to slow down. A lot of times we get these feelings, and I know I opened up this entire conversation about the heresy of emotionalism and how we've come to worship emotions and when we worship emotions everything is subjective and when we live our lives completely subjectively we become our own gods and that means that we are operating out of our three lower faculties right we're not operating out of the spiritual faculty we're operating out of you know the 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 mental working of our the the mechanism within our brain thinking right we're either thinking magician feeling we're coming out of our feeling or we're coming out of our our will and when we allow ourselves to make decisions that are based purely on the subjective, we don't give it the time, we don't give it the uh, opportunity to be measured up against reality. So one of the ways that you can allow yourself to begin approaching things that pop up spontaneously in a rational way is simply by slowing down, simply by slowing down, simply by noticing, right? I've got this feeling. I've got this feeling. I acknowledge the feeling, but I'm going to allow it to grow roots if it's true. If a feeling comes and it goes, you know that it isn't from yo. It's not yours. It's just something that popped up because maybe something you saw on Instagram or you watched a YouTube video or you heard somebody say something. It's just a, it's just a fleeting thought. It's a fleeting feeling. But if you invite it in, if it makes its way in and you sit with it, just be with it for a while, just let it marinate, right? They might say, let me just, that's one of the things that has helped me a lot because I'm a spontaneous guy. I like to take action right away. I've gotten myself into a lot of trouble as a result of it. Uh, I've also had some pretty good things happen as a result of it. And that's why I've learned how to begin discerning it. One of the things I've had to learn how to do is marinate, marinate. You got people who take action too quickly and you have people who don't take action quick enough. And the people who take actions too quickly end up living an ungrounded life. And one of the ways that they can ground themselves is by taking time. Yeah, taking time to bring you marinate, marinate, let it simmer, let it soak in, right? Just like, for example, these inclinations are like seeds, right? And if you, so if you have a seed and it's like, wow, this seed is going to produce some fruit, you don't throw the seed on the floor and just wait for the fruit or you don't, or you don't throw the seed on the floor and go like, all right, we're going to eat, we're going to eat. No, you dig it, you put it into the ground, right? You, you dig it deep, you put it somewhere deep. You take that instinct, you put it somewhere deep. So there's this idea that I need to move. Okay, cool. Plant it into the, into the heart. Plant that seed into your heart. And then what else needs to happen after you plant that seed? Time and water, right? Time and water is time, both perspectives. Water is nourish it. Re re return to it return to it every day look at it in different ways look at it from different perspectives give it a little impetus right maybe maybe research a little bit but not too much maybe look into it a little bit but not too much because you go over water you go over water it and then if it starts to grow roots and you see a 
little sprout coming out, what happens next? The sun. Now, you don't have to do anything because the sun comes up on its own and the sun starts giving it the nourishment that allows it to proliferate. proliferate. It just, it takes off and it's going to do its own thing. And that's when God offers his blessings to that seed. You plant that seed, you, you discern it from different angles. It may or may not produce a sprout. You know it won't produce a sprout because it will just go away. You'll stop thinking about it or something else will come up. Or like as in my instant, sometimes you realize, oh, that was dumb. There are so many times where I thought something was a great idea. I thought it was a great idea at first. Wow, this is awesome. I'm going to do this. And then I gave it a couple of days and I'm like, what the heck was I thinking? That's that. That ain't right. That's dumb. Good thing I didn't do that. Good thing I didn't follow that. Follow that instinct. But then sometimes you kind of play it over a little bit. You water a little bit and then it takes a life of its own. And that's when the sun starts giving it nourishment. You see what I'm saying? So there's a time when you got to act fast, right? And it's usually because a door opens, not because of a feeling. When it's time to open, when it's time to act fast, it's because there's a door that just opened that's going to close real quick. Sometimes God just, there's a timetable for life and there's an opportunity to do something and then that opportunity is gone, right? There's, a, there's also seasons in our life. There's a season to do something and then that season is gone. So you, gotta, you, have to, you have no choice but to act in those instances. But when it's a feeling, when it's just something that popped into your head or popped into your gut, that means, okay, slow down. Take your time. Discern. And just to throw this out there uh, as just a resource for you, look into the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Uh, and, and there may even be a little booklet out there called um, Discerning Spirits, How to Discern Spirits. And so there's a process that, that helps you while you slow down. You slow down and then there are certain prayers, there are certain meditations, there are certain questions you want to ask yourself before you go ahead and take action. That way you, not, you know it's not coming from your lower nature. It's not coming from your over-intellectualizing. It's not coming from your feelings. It's coming from your will to, you know, the will to do something. When, it, when it's measured rightly, you know that it's coming from truth, that it's your true path. So I hope that helps, my man. You're done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives. If that sounds like you, and you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and me and my team will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.